thank God that we came back again to His Holy Word, to, he, to, to His house, to, he, to listen to the Holy Word. We didn't come to listen to people, neither the wisdom of men, but we all came here being uh, convinced and having faith and thirst and hunger to truly listen messages from heaven. And that's the truth, my brethren, that we have to pray because that's not easy. Whoever comes up on this pulpit, it's not easy easy for him that these words might be truly anointed by God that they may be words of God that the man may speak at all not at all because you know something that in the latter days the less this lays that we're living we don't need to hear the, the wisdom from humans no matter how wise he is no matter how good that brother be we need to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. And we thank God because this pulpit has this kind of voice. Hallelujah. And the Word of God says that in Christ we are complete. We are complete. Because this Word is Christ. This Word is everything for us. This word will comfort us and strengthen us, will guide us, will reveal to us the truth in this life. Because you know something that uh, all of us who are here, each one of us is a separate soul. And he has different needs. This is something that the Lord does that every time that we are gathered here, he speaks to the heart of each one separately. Hallelujah. This is a miracle. This is a miracle, brethren. In Him we are complete. We need neither human traditions nor, as it says in the letter to the Colossians, from the elements and ruler, rules, rules of this world. We are complete in Christ. Do you know what people are looking for? They're trying to to f f feel filled. And they say, okay, let's go trip. It will help me psychologically to get higher. Let's go a little bit to the mall, to the shopping mall, to have a look at the shops and my moral to get high and to, to, j and to get joyful. I might get an ice cream and feel better. This is wrong, my brethren, because you will get back from there again, empty. Only the Word of God, only Christ can, fi can fill you. Hallelujah. All the other people are looking for um, different things. I have a cousin in Poland who deals with yoga. And they are trying to find rest and peace. No, my brethren, we do not need other things. W the only thing that we need is the Word of God. Alleluia. And you know something? This is the only truth. Because in the difficult time that you go through, because this will happen if you are in the path of God, only the Word of God will have the power to lift you up. Neither um, traveling, nor shops, nor um, yoga lessons, nor any other things will help you on that. Nothing. Only Christ heals. Only Christ strengthens us. Only Christ gives the truth, the rest, and fills the soul of man. Hallelujah. Yesterday we saw our brother Tassos. Who is the one who changed him? It is the word of God that changed him. It's Christ who changed him. Hallelujah. Not different powers from this world. Not the elements of this world. Not the transitions of man. Hallelujah. We are blessed and we are grateful. And do you know something? If we remain to the end, this word of God will lead us to eternal life. And we will see Jesus Christ face to face. The same way that you see me now, 
in the same way you will see him all of us and, and me included we will see him brethren exactly as he is if we continue in the word of God and not get to other things let us read some verses brethren let us read from the gospel according to Luke from chapter 15 and verse 11 chapter 15 and verse 11 from the gospel according to Luke then he said a certain man had two sons and the younger of them said to his father father give me the portion of goods that falls to me so he divided them his livelihood and not many days after the younger son gathered all together journeyed to a far country and there wasted his possessions with prodigal living but when he had spent all there arose a severe famine in that land and he began to be in want then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country and he sent him into his fields to feed swine and he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pods that the swine ate and no one gave him anything but when he came to himself he said how many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare and I perish with hunger I will arise and go to my father and will say to him father I have sinned against heaven and before you and I'm no longer worthy to be called your son make me like one of your hired servants and he arose and came to his father but when he was still a great way off his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him and the son said to him father I have sinned against heaven and in your sight and am no longer worthy to be called your son but the father said to his servants bring out the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet and bring the fatted calf here and kill it and let us eat and be merry for this my son was dead and is alive again he was lost and he is found and they began to be merry and also let us read from the last page of the Bible from chapter 22 from the book of Revelation from uh, verse 11 he was unjust let him be unjust still he was filthy let him be filthy still he was righteous let him be righteous still he was holy let him be holy still and behold I'm coming quickly and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his work amen hallelujah and the truth is my dear brethren that we are living the last days that's what we see that what we uh, sense that's what we read in the Bible that what we smell even people say so in the world that everything are kind of different they're not as in the past I remember when when I first came in Greece I went to the city of Kalamata and surprised I would see the houses of people with wide open doors and windows and having left their car keys um, on it everyone were kind and compassionate I remember my aunt in Poland when she divorced 
it was a small town of 12,000 people and everyone said that felt that um, our aunt was divorced and she was crying what am I gonna do now what people are gonna say about it hallelujah but nowadays brethren everything have changed from all these things that I've said uh, people are boasting on and not only are the boasting on but there is also progress because it says in the Word of God that sin will come to its fullness hallelujah and we hear and we see things and on the internet uh, on TV news what is happening a father kills his child and do you know what impressed me a lot lately there was a, a respectful respectful man and a high position in Air Force hallelujah he fell into the trap of the devil and he was put to shame in his whole life which we could say was the best in the world he became a proverb he b he was ashamed about his life all these things my dear brethren for us who are Christians has to be um, an alert that Christ is coming and in fact we read some verses that whoever wrongs is unjust let him be still unjust and whoever is defiled let him be more defiled and do you know something whatever is written in the Word of God will come to pass and all these things that I've talked before are these verses that the unjust will become more unjust he who is filthy will become even more filthy and we see that happening and we are grieved and this comes out of our mouth what kind of world is this that we are living in where have we, uh, where have we come to what are these things that are happening we have never heard such things in our lives hallelujah we thank God it is written that the unjust will become even more unjust the filthy will become even more filthy and do you know what we have to be very careful in this last days that we're living in because it is written and what is written will come to pass and it might even affect your life you might even fall to a trap you might get in trouble but for us the Word of God says that let him who is righteous to become even more righteous and the Lord is calling us daily uh, with the Word of God here in this church and he's calling us of what He's calling us unto holiness he's calling us to be even more righteous hallelujah he is calling us to approach God daily and do you know many times come what comes up into our hearts that the Word of God is strict um, when Christ said to the disciples that whoever will not eat my body and do not drink my blood he does not have eternal life because I will not dwell within him and he within me and some people were offended and they said that this word is harsh hallelujah they said that this man is harsh that this father is harsh to this family I am uh, c uh, so favorable with the children give them whatever they want don't oppress them let's sh uh, let them show their personality hallelujah we have to be extremely careful brethren because you know the enemy of the soul doesn't waste his time he observes us as the Lord observes us he observes us and he cares for each one of us that's why this parable was written and 
as we hear from this pulpit that this is a parable not of the prodigal son but the parable of love because whatever is written in the word of God um, is not written by uh, randomly this parable wasn't written randomly the Lord knew that to the Christians who will walk in this afflicted path that they will go through this narrow gate these Christians at some point there is a danger that they might consider that God is strict that the word of God is strict that you might say that I cannot make it anymore that this pressure of the world and the afflictions make me feel that I cannot stand on my own feet and that's why this parable was written down this is an amazing parable it cannot feed into my heart there's a young man who grew up in an amazing house he made the decision to leave from that house and there where he went to that far country he was bitten down once and twice and three times hallelujah because perhaps he didn't know the father as he owed to know him we thank God and do you know what many times I think um, that our children that our youth do they know truly God the Father hallelujah it's important brethren that we may know that God the Father loves us this is of extreme importance that this last days that we are living in to understand not just with our mouth to say that but with our soul and with our heart that someone loves us hallelujah and do you know what's the message the message is today is that yes Lord we want to be even more holy we want to be even more righteous but this is something that happens only if we fall in love again we who were uh, older and you the young um, people will fall in love with God the Father who is uh, nothing else than love this is amazing he's all love and he cares for um, nothing else but you he cares about you and you and you he cares exclusively about you and me this is amazing and that young man he made the decision to go back to his house because he couldn't make it anymore and we pray and we believe that God will bring back all those who are afar off and God will attract them with his love so that man made the decision to get back but to return back it's not an easy thing to do to escape from the bonds of the devil and the chains of the devil it's not an easy thing and on this way or um, to his return imagine this um, son of the father to go back and to think how will I appear there to that house how everyone will see me what a shame that it, this is and what will the father say and he heard and one ear uh, let it all go just get a, a, a random job and go back and on the other um, ear the voice of the Holy Spirit do not grow weary go back to your house hallelujah and along all this path of this prodigal son of this um, fool son who lost his mind he's listening two voices two voices and you today whom are you listening are you lis hearing two voices 
he hear one voice and when God the Father saw him from afar from afar he saw him because the Father no matter where he was he observed him he looked at him he would send words and voices to his ears from the Holy Spirit hallelujah and and the father could see this uh, wearisome this afflicted and disappointed and ashamed man the son to go back and as soon as he saw him as soon as his eye caught him imagine this uh, picture an old father how old could he have been 70 80 years old but anyways he ran towards him and the word of god says that he fell into his um, shoulder and kissed him he embraced him tightly and he said now you're not gonna go away any longer an old man ran towards him why because that's the love of God hallelujah isn't this amazing brethren for me this is an amazing unbelievable thing I cannot conceive it into my mind that a man who has spent everything his fortune who committed adultery he stole things I don't know what he could have done he didn't go to preach as the Apostle Paul did and he was found in prison but willingly he, with his foolishness foolishness and his uh, lack of wisdom the devil um, made him to go away uh, but the response of the father is that he embraced him he ran towards him embraced him tightly and he said nah no you will never again leave and the other voice the second voice disappeared at that moment hallelujah what kind of love this is I cannot comprehend this within my heart we people say have you come back oh now you have to repent now sit there in that corner don't speak not my brethren God the Father never will do that have you understood that young man have you understood that young brother young sister no matter what you will do you should know in your life that this God the Father is full of love and this love will never quench he is waiting for you he is wa waiting for you so that you may know him he is waiting for you so that you may experience him to get experienced brother how can you stand and continue do not lose your life do you think that you are young you will see very shortly that will become 20, 30. Now I'm 46. When I came, first came to Greece, I was 20 years old. Hallelujah. Years passed by and years will pass by. Now you have the opportunity to know him who loves you in a unique way. And I remember a brother who at the beginning of my faith, uh, who before he was regenerated, he was a very good young man he, from a good family. He was about 20 years old, 12 years old, and his brother died. There were three sons, and the father and the mother, five people all together. Then his, his son died, and after a while, because of a great sorrow, in then mother, the mother died after three and four. Uh, months and after um, one and a half year the father died and this child stayed they looked each other and, and said now nah, whose turn is it is it mine or yours to go and every time till he was regenerated yeah that yes there is 
God, there is eternal life, but God is strict, uh, but God, the Father is strict. But know today that if you will approach Him, then God will reveal to you His love. He will show you that He loves you. And when He was regenerated and baptized in the Holy Spirit, then God uh, showed Him a vision that He was in a big uh, room. He went through a big door and he, he felt fear and in that room in a desk was sitting with a strict um, look someone and he was afraid what is he going to tell me now how am I going to face him hallelujah so he who was sitting behind that desk he walked around he opened his embrace and he embraced him, he smiled, and that brother was lost in the love of God the Father. Hallelujah. Amazing. God will show you this. Ask it from him. Ask it, my brother, my sister. Do not lose your time w or by spending your time online and this, um, uh, spend your time with things that have no meaning that don't lead you anywhere while you are in affliction you will empty yourself and do you know what and the word of God confirms that and I would like us to read I would like us to read some verses that show that what we are hearing today is true. Hallelujah. Thus says the Lord who gives to the sun the light of the day, the commandments to the moon and to the stars of the night, he who makes the sea tremble and her waves roar, the name the Lord of hosts is his name. If this ordinances will go away from before me says the Lord then the seed of Israel will cease from being a nation before me all the days thus says the Lord if the heaven can be counted and the foundation of the lo of the earth to be examined then I will reject the seed of Israel for all the things that they have done says the Lord so this will never happen brethren never and today we declare to the devil that never will the Lord abandon us that the Lord loves us that the Lord will fight for us hallelujah because he's strong he is powerful he's alive he's resurrected do you hear that young man know this know this hallelujah because if you will know him and you worship him with all your heart hallelujah then everything in your life will go well will go perfect hallelujah the Lord will go before you and He will give you wisdom. He will strengthen you. He will do everything. Hallelujah. God is love. But do you know what? He is love not so that we may only enjoy this love because the Word of God says that by this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love towards others. This love that today the Lord calls us to renew it that we may seek it again so that the uh, so that we may show this love and the people who are in the world to see it and then with love and with unity because there is another verse that says that they will also know uh, by your unity that you are the church of Christ by the love that you have among you people will know that here 
is Christ who is alive, that there is a God that is powerful. Hallelujah. And the work of church is exactly that. That people till, till the ends of the earth, people may hear that God is among this people. Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God for everything, brev brethren, but above all for God the Father, for His love. Because God, who started the good work with you and with me and with each one of you and of us, He will complete it because He is a God of love. Amen.